Well, welcome back, folks. We've just come over uh, from the back of a cracking session over at Brunswick on the Mersey. Um, time now is half past four. Low water is at just gone nine o'clock tonight. So we've come over and we're going to fish uh, off the back of Perch Rock. Um, for those who don't know, Perch Rock's a low water mark. Normally fish it about three hours down and an hour back up. So we've got probably an hour to kill to. Uh, until we start making our way down the beach because the tide's still well in at the minute uh, and it's about to absolutely sling it down so I'm going to sit here, get some snap down me and a bit of a drink and, uh, and I've got my dad with me as well Hello Another hour or so, we'll make our way down the beach really want to be set up for about half past five-ish uh, follow the tide out a bit further, start fishing from six probably fish up to maybe 10 it is forecast to sling it down so we'll see how wet we get how miserable we get <laughs> chill out for an hour discuss tactics head down onto the beach get set up and i'll see you down there I mean, when sarah said do you want the rest of this joint for your sandwiches i don't think she intended on me putting the whole joint in in two slices of bread oh well filling a hole <laughs> All right, I'll admit it, we got trigger happy. So it's just gone five o'clock, like I say, I want to be fishing for six. Uh, and there was loads of lads turning up in the car park to fish a competition. So I thought, right, well, I won't wait till half past. We'll go down, we'll get set up. Now, if you can see behind me, I'll show you, try and show you later on when it gets dark. But normally the sand is out where that breakwater is all the way around there to that breakwater so we've got quite a way to go and the other thing is remember how I said it was forecast to absolutely sling it down well behind me lovely sunshine looks nice that if I spin you around the other way oh we're going to get wet a full Probably 270 degrees. Messed up there a bit, haven't we, really? Oh, here it comes. That was lightning as well. I think I'm going to stand, stand behind something rather than having 15 foot carbon rods in the air. Well, then in other news, I'm not sure if my dad deserves a medal or if he's just plain stupid, but... Well... Bless him. Still all the way out there. Take one for the team. He's desperate to get that mark, he's desperate to get on some fish, bless him. Dad's still out there, waiting like an absolute martyr, as you can see. Sandbar's just starting to uncover, but there's still a fair old way to go you get to the point where you're going to start fishing um, it's half past five so we've got another half hour or so um, it possibly might still be light by the time we get out there I've used the time to get set up so use your rod and reel set up uh, I'm going to mix it up these are basically the same rigs that I used um, just a minute ago an hour or so ago last week for you guys on uh, on Brunswick so I've got a five foot pulley panel rig and on there I've got 4.0 and on the other side I've got just a 1.0, one 1.0 up, one down and these are size 1 hooks, or 1.0 hooks should I say uh, that's with some leftover worm from earlier and then your bottom hook's about an 18 foot 18 foot, 18 inch trace again with another 1.0 they look like camera sands So that's the setup. Um, like I say, Dad's out there at the minute. Told him to get to the green boy and go slightly left, and he's well, he's going for the long hike, I think. But yeah, you want to be just slightly left of that that green boy there, <laughs> about where he is. Yeah, I don't know where he's going. Let's get down there and get him sorted out because I need to put him on some fish tonight, I think. First up on the one-up run down, a couple of them prawns that I caught in the drop net earlier. 
lashed on there and on the bottom just got some frozen blacks and then on the pulley panel rig a bit of a wild card to start off with cart and ragworm and I say a wild card it's late in the year for hounds but there are some cod starting to show uh, and I was seeing reports up to last week actually of, uh, of tote pups still being caught and when I say tote pups I mean no more than a pound but if they're still about you never know There's a chance of a hound still at this rate let's go for it well there's a note to self never trust a GoPro to do what your phone will do without thinking about it so I've just had a mad sort of five minutes or so but as I was about to cast the panel rig out the uh, one up one down started knocking then stopped I've cast the other rod out turned around the other rod's knocking away banging away reeled that in and I had a nice brace with a dogfish and a flounder anyway turns out the GoPro wasn't recording so I don't think I've got any footage of that haul managed to get dad's first fishes on the uh, on the camera providing that this was recording making every work of this show us what you got then weed plastic bag whiting and a doggy and a doggy and a doggy and a doggy oh very good oh that's us both off the mark anyway yeah the other rod's knocking as well. How was it? Yeah. Very good. Alright, well, I'll leave you to sort it out then. Enjoy. Clean that lens as well. So, there we go. Oh, it's another knock on the, uh, the two up flapper. As I was saying, don't trust GoPros because now the other one's just powered itself off to say it doesn't want to play ball on him. But, that knock. Yeah, another doggy. And only a small one. Tiny little pup. But fish are coming in thick and fast at the minute. And it's just dropping dark. Doggy! Well, that's another double shot on the, uh, the one up, one down. And I think it's time to swap that out now for uh, something a little bit bigger. Oh, well, after a mad three quarters of an hour, I thought I'd, uh, I'd have five minutes and come and talk to you. Oh, no, I won't. No, bear with me. Doggy! Oh, right, let's try that again, shall we? So, after a mad 50 minutes, um, I thought I'd, uh, I'd come out five minutes and talk to you. So. So far, four casts on the uh, on the smaller rig, the one up, one down, and uh, six fish. So I had a flounder and a doggy first chuck, I had a doggy second chuck, a dog, doggy and whiting, the third the third chuck, and uh, and I've just had another doggy. So uh, what does that take us up to? Four doggies, a flounder and a whiting. That's had a doggy and a couple of whiting now. I think he's up to three whiting, four whiting. He's just had another one over there. And yeah, we've been fishing 50 minutes, so we've got another three hours of this. Um, I think if this persists, what I might do is I might retire the one up, one down, put another pulley rig on, go for slightly bigger baits if can't, can't get some a bit bigger. Um, I've heard there's good conga coming out at the minute on, on here. Uh, and like I say, my target still is raised, so um, I, might, I think I've still got a, uh, a pulley rig with a wire trace on that might have knocked up to the borers when I took on the, uh, the whole nest cod father in that head to head. So I might fish that out, put that on, and put out some of them whole whiting we've caught earlier on. Put out some fresh baits if I attempt a big old conga. There we go, a little, little dab for the species count. Let's get him put back. As he goes. Lovely jubbly. Not going back. Oh, 
but hopefully you saw that really aggressive bite um, I've sped this clip up, this is actually a six minute bit of footage here I'll wait a little while, again another really aggressive pullback so strike into this fish and hopefully as you can see, like I say I've sped this bit up but there's some good fight here and then all of a sudden it just locks up as though it's snagged um, so you'll see, I drop the rod in a second and apply some gentle pressure walking backwards and it works really well, you can see there the rod gives and all of a sudden I'm, into, I'm back playing the fish again so here I am playing the fish another bit of sped up footage here and then once again the fish locks up so I resort again to the pullback technique and you can see gentle, gentle, gentle snap well what a kicker um, no, I don't quite know what to say about that. I mean, let me know in the comments. Do you think that was a good fish, or do you think I just snagged up? Maybe, maybe there's a random rock out there that I've hooked into. But definitely, you could feel the knocking every now and again. You could just feel a, a pull. And then, like I say, when I straightened the rod out and went to pull to get out the snag, you could feel it coming. Maybe I should have been more patient. Maybe I was snagged up. Uh, I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. Oh, yeah. I'm kicking myself now. Kicking myself. Oh, oh idiot. Oh. Well, we've got about an hour left until low water. So it's just gone 8 o'clock. Um, so we've probably got two hours or so left of fishing. It's turned into a lovely night. Um, it's uh, yeah, there's the old cloud in the sky, but other than that, it's fairly clear. There's a nice steady breeze. It was wet enough earlier that we've not got the usual sandstorm on here tonight, so I'm thankful for that. But yeah, oh. if that was a ray, that was big. And that was on car and rag as well. And it was a big, big blob. It was half a half a wing and three rag worms. So it was a big bait. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to be kicking myself that, about that for a long time, I think. Right, this means war now. So after losing that. What I am still adamant is a really nice fish. We've gone big. So that is a whole whiting. As you can see on there, I think they're size 8 o hooks with a wire trace. A big circle hook on there. Right wire bite trace on a 6 foot panel rig. This is one that Mike built me for uh, going after taupe this year on Holiness Coast. I never got around to. So it's now, tonight's designated conga rig. That's a bit of redemption for you. That's just taken that whole whiting and that wire trace, probably around the three pound mark maybe. Got the cracking little male format ray. And uh, to say I was bricking it when I hit it to that and it kept wedging up on the sand. This water is getting a bit cold. Oh, 
is literally just anchored himself to the floor. You can still see him there. A bit of camouflage on them things there. Come on, mate, what are you doing? Just have you gone. Oh, happy bunny. Oh, that oh, little spy's got me. Got me good and all. Little bastard, yeah. Just trying to help you, pal, but I'm up to my boots now, so... I'm going to have to leave you to it. Oh, oh, it got me good and... So we get for trying to help. Well, can't say I didn't do enough. Oh... Well, I am over the moon at that. It's raining. I've got snot running down my nose. <laughs> well, me and my dad were just saying how it's been a good little session, this. And there we are. That's just, that's tipped it over the edge for me, that. I'm happy with that. Now then, let's, um, let's go and see if we can't get my dad onto one, eh? I've been trying, I'm trying my hardest to get him into a race this session. Down there making heavy work or something. You into something good? No, no. Not a doggy, he's called it. Let's hear look. Let's hear what we got. We've got double shot of doggies. A double shot of doggies. Fucking hell, boy. Well done. I tell you what, I've just been trying to put that bloody thorn back right back and it anchored itself to the floor, so I thought I'll be helpful. Try and usher it on along a little bit. Done me so a good one. Hey? Bit you? Yeah. Three spines straight in my fingers. Oh dear. But they're going to be a bit sore tomorrow. Yeah. Well, that takes the piss now, doesn't it? Come on, you need to get on a ray. Well, you are not going to believe this. I've just put that. That wire trace back out, my other rod has hooped over. Come there! So, let's have a look at this little devil because this is on that one up, one down, and as you can see, the one down is there, and the one up is here, which has had a whiting, a sizable whiting. Take the bait, and then lo and behold, this little lad's come along. Oh, ah. <laughs> hey, big conga. Well, not big, but a bloody stretch. But on a little 1 0 hook, on a 1 up, 1 down, I will take that. There we go, then. One conga eel. Like I can say, not a bad little strap, to be honest, for this side of. The... Not a bad little strap. Like I say, I was after congas. I'd rather him come on the wire trace, if I'm honest. But on that 1 up, 1 down. A little size 1 0 hooks. Not done too badly there, I don't think. Yeah, well. Oh god, they've got some power at me. Oh, I'll give up that fight. Oh, let's go and get him back, shall we? And watch him. Away, just like that. Straight up and onto the beach, look. But, you can get a good look at him there at least. Yeah, I've got mouths like dust, in, dust bin lids. Come on, matey, get yourself back. That way is where you want to go. <laughs> well, 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 well. What a turn up for the books, eh? What a turn up for the books. I'm chuffed with that. I'm chuffed. I, I, to say I was miserable after I lost what I still think is a good fish. To have then a thornback ray and a conga, I'm chuffed. I am chuffed. Let's get that rebaited. I don't think I'm going to go for the big baits. I'm going to stick a little look back on that one up, one down, put some more worm baits out, and I'll probably pay a bit more attention for those whiting bites now. Don't want that happening again, do we?
go and bite the dust. Well, I just saw something flash when I was reeling that one in, and it definitely wasn't that. I think another little strap I've just lost. Um, yeah, there wasn't much, wasn't much fire in it, so I don't think it was a bass. But I think I've just lost another little strap here on the one up, one down again. <laughs> I'm trying not to snuffle. Yeah, I'm trying not to snuffle as well. <laughs> <laughs> It's supposed to be highbrow entertainment, this. <laughs> well, I've enjoyed myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so have I. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, cracking session. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't manage to get you on the raise, did we? But nope. uh, it'll be next time. Def easily into double figures on dogfish, whiting, probably half a dozen dabs. Every cast was a dogfish nearly. Got pestered by, pestered by more dogs tonight than you would in a night out on Nottingham. But uh, now, cracking night out, um, good to be out back out with Dad again and um, get some fish on the bank. Although I do think after I've lost, I'm still convinced. I'm still convinced I lost a nice ray. So I'm wondering whether them furies. I just need something with a bit more power in them. Um, so I might have to look into that. Uh, other than that, yeah, cracking evening, cracking an evening, look, cracking in it, cracking, cracking evening. More cheese, grab it. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, before it turns into absolute force, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll say thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and until next time, take care and tight lines.